Have you ever felt guilty about your carbon footprint? You may have thought that this guilt stems from something deep within your soul. But amazingly, the carbon footprint was a marketing ploy from none other than evil genius British Petroleum, or as they're called nowadays, BP. In 2004, BP hired PR firm Ogilvy & Mather to create the mother of all scapegoat campaigns. And good lord, they went for it. To distract attention away from BP, the ad gurus cleverly dumped all the blame on us, the powerless consumer. The carbon calculator was born. The guilt began. We stopped blaming corporations and started blaming ourselves. Of course, BP carried on draining the world of fossil fuels and pumping out carbon for profit. In 2004, CEO Lord Brown awarded himself an 18% pay raise, bringing his annual salary up to 4.8 million pounds. Since 1965, the company has emitted 34.02 billion tons of carbon. To put that into perspective, the entire UK emitted 351.5 million tons of carbon in 2019, just over 1% of BP. We think it's clear where BP can shove its carbon calculator and its guilt. That's right, they can shove it in their own faces. We're talking about the oil company that has been responsible for more than 3 million barrels of oil spilled into the Gulf of Mexico since 2010 alone. They claim that they're a leader in sustainable energy. They say that their responsibility extends beyond our own operations and includes helping to protect the places where we live, work, and do business. Like all evil geniuses, BP seems to have a game plan, a playbook for how to appear much greener than they truly are. It's not easy to figure out whether BP is actually living up to their pledges on green energy. BP has been using terms like climate, low carbon, and transition more frequently in their annual reports than ever before. But there are things that might indicate how misleading they are about transitioning away from fossil fuels. If a company claims that it's going to be able to produce energy without using any fossil fuels, then you have to ask yourself, how is that possible? The answer is simple. It isn't. There's no way around the fact that our planet relies on fossil fuels right now. BP has spent more than £800,000 on social media influence ads in the UK this year, promoting investments it makes in green energy. BP is running a campaign to convince the public that they are a responsible business and want to make people proud of our efforts on climate change. The ads appear on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and feature images of wind turbines and solar panels, alongside claims such as clean energy is what moves us all forward. The influence ads promote BP's plan to transition to net zero by gradually reducing oil and gas production and investing more in low carbon and renewable energy sources. BP announced a 14-year high profit of £7 billion for the second quarter of this year. In the previous eight days, the company paid about £570,000 to Facebook and Instagram for influence ads that reached tens of millions of viewers in the UK. BP are presenting themselves as offering green solutions that are good for the UK, but these investments are dwarfed by how much money they're funneling into fossil fuels. They're doing this while making record profits and millions of UK households are being pushed into fuel poverty. Pathetic, isn't it? BP has some of the more ambitious energy transition plans among oil and gas majors, but an analysis by Oil Change International in May found that the section's plans are far from enough to restrict global heating to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, the goal outlined in the Paris Agreement. The green investments they describe represent only a minor portion of the current energy production and investment behavior. In that sense, the ads are really misleading. It's like somebody who's still in the process of changing to a healthy diet, but who asks to be praised ahead of time. This does not tell the reader that BP continues to open up new oil and gas fields. The CEO of BP has labeled the oil and gas giant a greening company, which is carbon intensive today, but planning for a net zero future. His comments are likely to raise eyebrows in some quarters at a time when a number of governments have declared a climate emergency and speak to the huge task facing energy majors in the years ahead. Bernard Looney's remarks were made during a panel discussion in Cairo, Egypt, moderated by CNBC's Hadley Gamble, where he spoke about issues relating to the energy transition. Within the pivot to renewable energies, Looney said three criteria needed to be satisfied. Energy needed to be cleaner, reliable, and affordable. 
Our objective is to reduce emissions. And if burning natural gas rather than burning coal reduces emissions, then we should consider taking that step. A greening company is a company who is carbon intensive today, like BP. Some people would call it a heavy polluting company. Carbon intensive today, but has plans for net zero tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but in the future. It is easy to make bold commitments. The hard part is actually achieving them. Looney's comments come at a time when the debate surrounding greenwashing is becoming increasingly fierce, with the charge often leveled at multinational companies with significant carbon footprints. Environmental campaign group Greenpeace UK has described greenwashing as a PR tactic used to make a company or product appear environmentally friendly without meaningfully reducing its environmental impact. Looney was asked if accusations of greenwashing had no basis. I can only speak for myself, he replied. If you look at what we have done over the past 24 months, we have conducted the largest restructuring in the company's history so that we can transition. The use of fossil fuels has a significant impact on the surrounding environment. According to the United Nations, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, and this has been the case since the 19th century. And yet, in spite of the aforementioned, energy companies are always finding new areas, and oil and gas continue to play a significant part in the diverse array of energy sources used in the world. According to statistics collected on global energy consumption, the demand for energy is only predicted to climb more over the next several decades as populations and economies throughout the world continue to expand. The energy sector is the largest contributor to the growth in CO2 emissions. Based on the statistics collected, there have been 20 fossil fuel firms that have been responsible for 35% of all energy-related CO2 and methane emissions that have occurred globally since 1965. Over the past few years, this pattern has maintained its consistency. Since the year 2000, the global emissions of carbon dioxide from fossil fuels and industry have grown dramatically, hitting a record high of 36.7 billion metric tons in 2019. Green claims are commonly used to attract consumers to buy things that simply aren't ecologically friendly by their very nature. These products range from recyclable plastic bottles and throwaway coffee cups to flights and combustion automobiles that are promoted as having a lower impact on the environment, but in reality, they still have a very high impact on the environment. In point of fact, fossil fuel companies are among the companies who spend the most money on Google advertising designed to seem like search results. Campaigners feel this is an example of the pervasive practice of greenwashing. The pushback against greenwashing has led to the development of methods such as anti-advertising, which is a strategy that uses marketing to actively persuade consumers to purchase less. Companies that have embraced this tactic, such as REI and Patagonia, believe that the litmus test for a brand's eco-friendly honesty or hypocrisy is whether the items they offer are practical, durable, and of a high quality encouraging its consumers to buy fewer things that last longer. If you have doubts about a company's commitment to the environment, you should search for proof that was generated apart from the company that supports the statements it's making. People who feel that advertisements are being greenwashed are able to lodge a complaint to the Advertising Standards Authority or flag an advertisement for further investigation. In addition, the time has come to strengthen advertising regulations to prohibit businesses from peddling items that are not environmentally friendly. This may be analogous to laws in the United Kingdom requiring influencers to clearly label sponsored posts on Instagram. BP does environmentally friendly stuff. They invest a lot in renewable energy. But don't let that fool you. When it comes to what they actually spend their money on, BP invests a lot in ads that are often empty words. BP will spend billions on projects worldwide, but only a fraction will go into activities other than fossil fuel extraction. BP has been trying to improve its image and gain more customers by advertising how environmentally friendly they are. But what they don't tell you is that most of their profits come from fossil fuel extraction and not from renewable energy. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think about BP's greenwashing practices? Do you think BP is the worst sustainable business in the big oil space? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.